56 teams entered this season's Kate Shepherd Cup competition, each with varying expectations of progressing through to today's final. And after six rounds of matches, we are left with just two. It's Northern Rovers versus Auckland United. And here we go. Be a great occasion and hopefully we're in for a treat and a lot of goals this afternoon. Two sides that like to attack. I think uh, Northern Rovers probably with a, a better defensive record chance early on. And great work from Amy Feinberg, Daniela to come out there. A duel that will endure throughout the afternoon. Clegg now. One on one, goes on the outside. Clegg just knocks the ball past the defender. Good sweeping ball in behind. He's heading, pulls it back. The edge of the box. Brooklyn United trying to get back and get in cover. Here's an opportunity. Header on the back post. And the keeper tips that one away for the corner. Yeah, that's the left back here and getting up. Uh into the attacking third, which is always good to see. And those ones can be difficult for, they can be quite awkward. So Danielli's done well there to just... Hurled that one down the line. Foster from behind. There's players in the box, can they find them? Here's a Gultic chance. Oh, and it's just headed wide by Danny Cannon. Wonderful attack from Northern Rovers. And Ben Bate on the sideline just had his hands on his head there. He knew how close that was. Pukatapu always really dangerous on the turn, but uh, Chelsea Elliott containing it pretty well so far. Richards knocks an inside ball in behind. Here's a chance, here's an opportunity, but the cross straight into the gloves of Blount. In outright second place as winners of both Kate Shepherd and National Women's Knockout Cup, and now chance for for Rovers, and the ball just flicked wide that time by Leanna Ryan. One on one with the keeper. That is the best chance of the afternoon. Leanna Ryan just faced with the goalkeeper and pulls the ball wide of the post. The, the final back in March for the 2021 edition was, was opened up very last minute before, after originally being sort of closed door. So it wasn't much of a crowd for that game. But now you've got the double header, as has been traditionally the case the last few years. So good crowd building. Clegg now, Clegg, and again Clegg takes a shot on, some lifts it over the crossbar. Certainly looks like a tactic that Auckland United are trying to employ. Win the ball in midfield and then look very quickly over the top, here's a chance, keeper comes out again and hurls herself at the feet of the oncoming attacker. Clock ticks over 45 minutes and there will be no time added on at the end of the first 45. These teams typically play 15 and 20 games a year. So that's uh, a lot of games for a 21 year old as Brooklyn United pretty much start the second half as they did the first, very much in the ascendancy. Good work from Elliot. Here's a shooting opportunity, edge of the box and the ball just flashes past the post. Great opportunity for Auckland United. As you say, they've started just the way they did the first half on top. And I'm sure that Ellie Blount is happy to see that one go past the post. Now down the other end, Duncan with a good sliding challenge. And the ricochet off the Northern Rovers player had Amy Danielli scrambling at the near post. Into Richards. Nathan again. This is better. Better for Morky United. Ball delivered to the back post. Is that going to go in? No. Hits the top of the crossbar and rolls across the top of the net. But Blount was scrambling. If that had dipped under the bar, she wouldn't have got to it. Movement in the box. Corner delivered. Near post. Here's a chance. Keeper parries it away. Another good save from Danielli. Driven back across the goal. Bloomfield. Space on the far side. Clegg. Hooks the ball inside. Here's Pukitapu. Here's a real opportunity. Martin Pukitapu lifts it over the approaching Ali Blount. And it is Auckland United that draw first blood here at North Harbour Stadium. Wonderful finish from Martin Pukitapu. And she scores again in a Kate Shepherd Cup final. Absolutely cool, calm, collected there. As you see, Bloomfield picked it up in the midfield. 
uh, playing in. Millie Clegg, what a nice ball. Hooked around and cool as you like there. Lifting it over the goalkeeper, Marty Pukitapu. Well, Northern Rovers looking to strike straight back. And again, Daniele has to be sharp down to her left. Now, what can Northern Rovers do to get back into this game? Ben Bates got some thinking to do. Yeah, interesting to see if those early chances cost them because I think Northern Rovers definitely had the better of the chances in that first half. And I guess as the, the clock ticks down. Yeah, well, here is a chance as Daniele again comes forward, spills the ball, dropped back. Can they shoot? Goes straight into the chest of Georgia Martin. Ball girl just runs on, picks up the ball. And Auckland United come forward again. Here's the ball over the top. Another opportunity. Blount comes. Doesn't get to it. The ball heading goalward. And Talisha Green has to mop up. Great ball from Ruby Nathan with her left foot over the top there. Bree Johnson. You guess you want that one falling to Pukatapu, who might have had a little bit more composure. But to be fair, Bree Johnson didn't have quite as much time as her a fellow striker for that one. And uh, the ricochet nearly going in. Well, one in the middle of the park and then... Good experience from Duncan. Just steps forward, wins the ball, and then sets sail down the park. 60, 70 metre run from Katie Duncan. Ruby Nathan takes over. And Danny Cannon working really hard there in the middle of the park. The number eight for Northern Rovers. Richards. Richards again over the top. Puki Tapu comes again. Puki Tapu, can she do a repeat? No, the ball drifts wide of the upright. Martin Puki Tapu using her pace to get in behind the defence again. Well, the players have uh, come down the line, and here's a, here's a good foot race. And Northern Rovers into the penalty area. Daniele has to get down sharply again to her left. Here's Foster. Foster looking to go past another one of the Auckland United defenders. Crucial tackle there. I think it was Georgia Martin. Katie Duncan was further up the field and out of position. I thought Auckland United had them were stretched in the defence and she put in a crucial tackle. Here's Clegg. Clegg with the shot straight at Blount though. Blount wanting to get the ball forward. Really Clegg there just checks inside on her left foot this time. Here's a chance. Foster now is three forward for Northern Rovers. Needs a good pass, finds it. There's some space on the far side. Here's a shot, hits the post. And Daniele gratefully dives on the ball. Well, that is the closest that Rovers have come to this afternoon. And they were the width of the post away from drawing level. They had a lot of numbers there forward, Rovers. Auckland United were absolutely stretched, and I think it was Ryan over there taking the shot with her left foot. Bree Johnson and Foster does very, very well. And sends it long again. Looking for the pace of Cook. Can she get in behind? Cook get, does get in behind. Elliott's waiting in the middle. This is Alexis Cook into the penalty area. Checks back once, twice, taking on three players. Elliott. Chance, shooting opportunity to Ryan. And Daniele fumbles, but there is Katie Duncan. Canham. Danny Canham checks back. There's a nice pass inside. Alexis Cook, she's got pace. She's round the back. Alexis Cook pulls it back. Here's Elliot. And a great block. Just a few seconds. All eyes on the referee. Anna Marie Kiley puts a whistle to her mouth. And... Joy and ecstasy for Auckland United as the players go into a huddle. Please put your hands together for the captain of the winning team from Auckland United, Jess Philpott, as she is presented with the trophy by Melanie Longdill, the CEO at the NZ Football Foundation. Thank you to everyone involved in today's game. And another round of applause for your New Zealand Football Foundation Kate Shepherd Cup 2022 winners, Auckland United.